Hello students, as the day pass, we all are coming near to the upcoming CUT exam that is scheduled to be held in March 2024. And since you all will be very much worried and confused as to what will be the asked in the exam, you all will be a little bit confused about the syllabus, what can be the possible questions. So we at AgriVision for you are back with previous year question videos to help out with the pattern and the format in which questions were earlier asked in the exam and there is a very high chance that similar questions can be asked in the upcoming exam but you never expect that the questions will be repeated there is no no possible chance for the question to be repeated but surely the pattern can be similar so here we are with the part six of the video we have already posted five parts of the video in which we have discussed eight questions per video so as to make you easy to cover the previous year questions that were asked in 2022. So I am Devyanshu Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. Then coming straight away to the first question we have specify the order of events in jelly processing. So you can very well uh, uh, expect questions from processing part and this is not very difficult question as it's, it seems. It seems a very big question, but it is a very easy question. So we have to uh, arrange them in the order of jelly processing. So judging of endpoint, boiling of fruits with water, filling with hot in clean sterilized bottle, washing and straining uh, sugar addition and heating. So I guess first part will be your D, which is your first option. So D will write it as the first part that is a washing of the fruits. Then we go at boiling of fruits with water because we need to boil the fruits with water in order to give them a blast treatment and for the inactivation of enzymes and to prepare them for your uh, jelly processing method. So B will be your next step. Then straining, sugar addition and heating. So straining will be done to remove the pulp, then sugar addition for the preservative action and then heating that means the cooking process. So E will be your next step. Then judging of endpoint using either your refractometer or some any other method by which you can determine the TSS and even the TSS of particular foods which are preserved by sugar method and the tomato products are very important. Just be aware about that. That is a bonus point I'm telling you in this video. Then uh, it, uh, we will write A as here. Then your C that means your filling hot in clean and sterilized bottles. That means your C part. So D, B, E, A, C is the correct sequence for this question. Let's find out where it is there. So D, B, E, A, C is the second part. So this is the most optimum uh, answer for this question. And this question was asked in CUT 2022. So you can very well expect similar questions to be asked. Either they can be from jam uh, processing or marmalade processing or fruit squash or some nectar cordial and even some uh, meat products or some tomato soup, tomato ketchup, tomato puree and all. It can be asked in exam. Then coming to the next question. FSSI recently changes the symbol of non-vegetarian food from brown circle to brown triangle to help to distinguish it for. So I guess uh, everyone, uh, almost all of you will be aware about this thing that earlier your uh, non-veg food used to have this symbol and your, uh, your vegetarian foods used to have some green symbol like this. Nowadays also it is this only, but earlier your non-veg food used to have this symbol, but now FSSI has changed it to this triangle. Why it has been done? This has been done for the people who are colorblind because they are not able to distinguish between red color and green color and blue shades. So that is why for the colorblind people it is being done so that they are also aware about the ingredients which are used in your food. So three is the right answer for your this question. Coming to next question, celiac patients are unable to consume. So as the name says celiac patient, celiac disease that is related to your gluten, which is your wheat products is the right answer for this question. And people who have celiac disease or your gluten, gluten intolerance or gluten allergy, they are not able to consume wheat and wheat products. And that is why it is advised for them to consume products which are made from some alternate sources of your proteins. Then coming to the next question we have on dry basis, soybean seeds contained around so i think you many of you will not be aware about this topic and it is very specifically asked from pulses section and we uh, discussed this when we were taking classes from our batch i guess in, in november we discussed this topic that soybean seeds on dry basis contain about 20 percent lipids and 40 percent protein so we are having regular classes every day around 1 to 1.5 hours we are spending every day for the preparation and uh, if you want to join our batch you can anyways join our batch and in that we will be discussing about the deeper insights on every topic that can be asked in exam and the possible questions and the possible format in that particular topic can be asked as a question in the exam then coming to the next 
the most recently recommended method for determining protein quality is when i asked this question to all of you like for the students who are in the batch many of you answered this this wrong many of you answered it as pdca that is your protein digestibility corrected amino acid score but this was changed by fao in 2013 that is march March 2013, it was corrected and changed by your FAO A to DIAAS, and the full form is Digestible Indispensable Amino Acid Score. So this is now the newer method for determining protein quality. So just be aware about that, and uh, not only in CVT, in other exams which are related to food science, this question can be asked. Then coming to the next question, which of the following is not a reducing sugar? So when we were discussing about sugar i told you as you say the name sugar you should say that sucrose non-reducing sugar you just remember this name only that sucrose non-reducing sugar so that will be helping you out in many of the questions and straight away this question answers that means your sucrose is a non-reducing sugar that is not a reducing sugar maltose fructose and glucose all are reducing sugars so this question was asked in cut 2022 then coming to the next question the portion of water in food that, that does not freeze at low temperature and remains unavailable as solvent for additional solutes is termed as. So, uh, I guess in the last video when I was discussing about water activity, in that I told that the free water is that microbial activity and is not bound to any particular chemical substance inside the food or any chemical constituents or physical constituent that is present inside that food. So, bound water is that water that is even available after freezing for your solute addition for your solute dissolution and all. So, bound water will be available even after freezing. Free water will be frozen after low temperature because it is uh, pure water and it will be directly converting into solid state. Then, the protein fraction soluble in salt solution is termed as. So, this is straight away the answer that is your globulins. We discussed this when we were uh, discussing about your proteins. So, protein fraction that is soluble in salt solution is called as your globulins. So, we now come to the end of our video. This was all about the part 6. And we discussed the 8 questions which were asked in CVT 2022. So, stay connected for part 7. We will be soon posting the part 7 and in that we will be discussing the next 8 questions which were asked in CUT 2022. If you want a deeper insight on any of the question, any of the topic which you are having difficulty in connecting or able, you are not able to understand that topic, you just mention the name of that topic. We will try to make a video on that also. And if you want to join our batch, you may contact on the number which is given on the screen or uh, you may visit our website for our uh, programs and uh, I will be very happy if you join our program and in that we'll be discussing all of your important topics and the important questions and even the format in which that particular question can be asked in your exams. So stay connected for part seven. I was Devanshri Gupta and we here come to the end of this video. Thank you all.